we're gonna use this to get rid of that green water. So one day you're sitting in your house, you look over at your aquarium, oh, this green water. What do you do? You try to figure it out. Did I, what did I do wrong? What happened? But hey, this stuff happens, okay? Maybe if you have the perfect environment, the perfect fish keeping, this doesn't happen, but it happens to all of us, okay? So what do you do? You go in there, oh, I'll do a water change. Well, you do a water change. Looks a little better, but you can't get it all. You'd have to do a heck of a water change to knock it out. And you come back the next day, it's darker than it was before you did the water change. Why? Because you just fed all the stuff living in there. That green water in your tank is because of phytoplankton, which are microscopic algae creatures that have chlorophyll in them to make them green. And what they need is they need the nutrients in your tank. Okay, so when you change water, you get new nutrients put into the tank from your tap water, the micronutrients, the little trace minerals, and all that stuff that goes in there and feeds them again. So one way to fight it would be to just wait it out. Just make sure you don't feed the fish very much for a long time. <sighs> Probably don't do water changes. That's a tricky one, right? What do you do about your fish? Well, you wanna keep that down, good filtration on the tank, keep changing the filter pad out, rinse that out, keep the lights on less per day, maybe keep the lights off for a couple days. But if you cause all that to die all at once, what could you do? You could crash your cycle in your tank because all those little creatures are dead. They're gonna decompose, they're gonna generate ammonia, and that's gonna maybe overload your biological filter in the tank. So you gotta be careful with that. So what do you do with a green tank? I've been able to wait them out before. It can take months. You don't wanna look at it like that for months. Everybody comes over, what happened to your fish tank? Oh, what a mess. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. Why don't you sell that thing? I'm sure a lot of people, even for that matter, they do sell their tanks because of this. It happens, they can't get rid of it. They say, I can't figure this hobby out, I'm out. Well, I never want that for you guys. I want you to have success. I want you to do well with this. And heck, why not get multiple tank syndrome while you're at it? I love it. So, but what I've got for you is a way to kill that algae. This is the green killing machine. You could use any ultraviolet light, that's what this is. It's an ultraviolet light with a pump and a light, okay? And you could use different ones. I've used these, and I've used a smaller one of this so far for quite a bit lately. It's been really helping with small tanks. This is a bigger one. This is the nine watt unit. And this one, I'm eager to see what this looks like inside. And I wanna put it on that 20 gallon tank that's just bright green and you can't see the angelfish that are in there. That tank gets that problem from time to time. Why? Well, it's got a bright LED light on top of it and it's sitting in a window. So that's another thing. Make sure if your tanks are in a window, you should block the window out. In my case, I don't wanna block the window out. I would like the light. I've only got two windows in this room. So I just have to live with it. What do we have inside the box? We have plastic all sealed up. Instructions. Yeah. I may have read those already. Gotta open this up. All right, put that open, get rid of that. Okay, yeah, don't eat this, get rid of that. Okay, what is in the box here? Here is the main unit, okay. Oh, wow, <laughs> they haven't come around to the new style of power supply yet. This is the old heavy transformer kind, wow. Oh, they could probably work on that. Uh, maybe there's a reason they had to use this, but this is the heavy one. Uh, if you drop this on your floor, hard floor, you're going to break it. But this is the way everything used to be. It's got an external unit. This is meant to be mounted to the outside of your aquarium, like on the back of it, on the glass. And this is the little controller for it. So what you have is you have the power supply going into this, and it's disconnectable. See that? You do that. Now, it also can be disconnected from the units. There's two parts of this unit. There's the light, which is this bottom part. And then there is the pump, power head type of unit up at the top that actually pumps the water. And they're detachable, okay, for cleaning, etc. And I'll detach them for now. This one for the UV light unit itself actually has a screw on part. So you have to unscrew it before you detach it. It's got a two prong deal in there. So um, maybe for simplicity, I'll detach it. This unit has a little sponge in it for a filter. It's not very substantial, but it, there's the where the water will go through it. And this little sponge will keep from sucking in your little shrimps or your baby fish or small snails. I guess the snails will get through here. That's a pretty thick foam. So you could potentially replace this with a little bit finer foam. I don't know. 
So there's that. And it comes with extra foam. So what they've done in here is they've given a whole bunch of extra little pieces of this stuff, which is great. It didn't cost them anything to put this in the box, and yet they did. And these are going to be easy to lose, etc. Nice to have extras. Very good of them to do that. There's a brush in here too. Okay, so when you want to clean this, is, I just love it when thing when manufacturers put a little brush in there. What did that cost them either? You can take your brush, go in here, clean this out, clean this out. You know, you want to do that. This unit here is the pump. Okay, now to get into it and clean the impeller, which of course after a while you're going to want to do you got to open it. It's hard to open, right? Well, a trick for that. You go ahead and attach it to the light unit. And then while it's attached, you've got some leverage and it pops right off. Okay. Inside there, you've got your impeller to take out with, there's the magical disappearing cap. This one's white. Okay. There's actually two magical disappearing caps on this one. So if you squeeze down on this good and pull the whole thing out, well, guess what? One of them stayed down in there. Down inside this hole is another one of these caps like this. Okay, see if I can get it out. Okay, because it's brand new, that little cap doesn't want to come out. Later, after you've been using it, you may notice that it pops out if you grab the whole shaft and impeller. But keep in mind that's there. Don't lose these. You'd have to call the manufacturer to try to get another one. I, I don't know if you can get one or not. Um, you want to keep that cap on there. So if you got to work on this, make sure you clean the hole down in there. Clean this impeller real good. And then put it all back together. And snap this part back on. Okay, I'm going to keep that off there for simplicity. It has suction cups to stick inside your tank. And it has this little outlet here. Attach like so, like that, and it'll you know, push it in there. And then you can pivot this whichever way you want the outflow for the water is going to go out here. Point that wherever you want it to go. Now, the reason that these are separate is because this light will only last so long. It, you know, it's not recommended to run it 24 hours a day forever because if you do, it'll probably last you only a few months. And this bulb inside, like any fluorescent type of bulb, is what it is, will burn out. And you can't see it because it's ultraviolet. You wouldn't want to see it. It would damage your eyes. It's in case so you can't see it. But what you have with this is on this little controller box thing is there's a little light right here. And as long as that light is on while everything's plugged in and running, if that light's on, it's telling you that this bulb in here is still good. If that light goes off, it's telling you the bulb has failed. And you can purchase just this part of the unit. It's almost as expensive as buying the whole thing, but it's a little less. So you can keep using this because this part here should last for years unless something gets stuck in the impeller, etc. So that ha is all there is to that. Um, this here, this piece also can come off and this lets you position this in the tank how you need it. Okay, so if you need to put it this way, you can. You can't put it I was putting this on backwards while I was showing you before, but you've got to put this this way so that your suction cups can go on the tank. Now this will all pivot. Okay, you can pivot the whole thing. You can pivot this thing to, if your tank's not that deep. You have a little bit of tank. I, I wouldn't put this on a tiny tank. It's got quite a bit of flow. You can turn this sideways to make it, you know, look better. However you need it in your environment, you can pivot this however you need it. The water level needs to be to here. This is the minimum water level is at the top of this thing. So make sure this unit is always submerged under the water completely. And this green killing machine, as it runs, what it does is the water circulates through here. It comes in right here and shoots out here. And there's maximum contact with the bulb inside and that ultraviolet light will kill those things that are living in your water. The free swimming algae, phytoplankton algae that are swimming in your water. They'll get through here. This ultraviolet light kills them slowly over time as they go through here and spits them out, which this does add some load to your tank. So again, you do want to be a little careful with that. You just keep an eye on the fish, keep an eye on the parameters of the water. It can be real hard to test your water parameters. Can you test that tank for ammonia right now? Well, I don't, I don't know. It's green already. What's the test going to look like? It's going to be green. So that's tough there, but you know, it, this is just what you have to do to get rid of the green water. So far, I have had no problem with it on my tanks when I run it. It just slowly clears up the water over several days. I try to feed the fish too much and things get better. You can also use this if there's disease in your tank. So if you have ick or some other epistolis going on in your tank and you want to give a little boost to the process of getting rid of that in your tank, you can use one of these units and that'll kill those 
any kind of parasites, whether it be ick, spironucleus, hexameter, all those things that might be in your water, this will help with that. What we'll do next is put it on the tank and set up a little time lapse and see how well it does. Before we do that, if you haven't hit the like button yet, hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out. It helps other people find videos like this. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you could hit the subscribe button, it'll help you find more videos like this in the future. Thanks. Now let's put it on that green tank. Okay, here you can see the green light is on. I've got this all set up. I've got kind of a drip loop set up here. So if any water were to run down the cord that goes into the tank, that it would drip off and wouldn't go up into this. This unit here is not supposed to be in the tank. Keep this outside. This, I just, that would not be good to put that in there. Uh, so there's, what you end up with is the one power cord feeding this through that power supply. It comes into this, splits off. One side goes to the pump. One side goes to the light. It's now running. I've stuck my hand in the tank to make sure I feel some water flowing out of the top of it. I've left the filter running on this tank as well. I don't want to turn that off. It's not obviously not getting rid of the green water anyway, so it really should have no effect, but it will help scoop up the dead organisms as they build up. So now we will see, I'll put the GoPro on this and we'll see what this does over the next few days. So you can see from that time-lapse video that it did clear up the tank and that these units work really well. If you want one, check out the link in the description and go get yourself one. Check it out. Let me know in the comments how it works for you. Let me know your experience. I want to hear from you guys. As a bonus here, if you've watched this far, I'll show you the 3 watt version of this as well. It's almost the same as the other one, a little bit smaller. On the bottom, it has a sponge filter compartment with a bigger sponge, honestly, than the 9 watt unit. This can act as more of a filter than that one can. That one's really just there for UV. This one could be run as a filter full time. It's very small, so you can go to a small aquarium. That comes off, snaps on there. This part detaches here, like the other one. This one has two separate power cords, completely separate. So you take that loose and you see the power head unit has its own cord. It has just a little screw top thing that you can adjust the amount of flow on. You, it's been in the water. <laughs> um, you adjust the flow on it and you can open it up. It's tough because it's wet and you can open that up a little bit and get you know, however much flow you want out of that. Same exact kind of pump looking thing. Uh, same trick to pulling it off, which is to snap it on first and then take it off. Same magic disappearing rubber caps, same impeller, I would say identical unit almost, except for the top part. And that all snaps back together. It's got suction cups like the other one, snaps on the tank. Similar to the other one, a little bit different. It's got this external unit with, with its own power cord for the light. It's got the little green light that has to light up to show you the lights working. And also this light unit here is replaceable, just like the larger nine watt unit. This one works great in a five gallon aquarium. I've even had it work fine in a 20 gallon aquarium. It just takes longer. Uh, it will clear up a cloudy green, cloudy or green 20 gallon aquarium uh, over time for sure. I was most recently using it on a tank with a pistolus in it and uh, from some fish I'd brought home from a store and didn't quarantine them enough. Only I did put them in the one tank, so I didn't spread it around. But I did use that to help combat that. And now those fish are doing great today. They also got some antibiotics, which I think was a big part of it. But this kept no other fish got it. No other fish seemed to get sick in the tank. And it was a, it was good in that way. I'll put a link in the description for both of these. You can get them uh, from Amazon. And uh, if you click on that link, of course, you can help support this channel. If you've watched this far, you're dedicated. You're getting through the videos. That's great. I appreciate it. And I really just want to help you guys. That's what I'm here for. My whole point in doing this is to help everybody have a better experience with their aquariums. I don't want to see aquariums at the garage sales. I mean, I do. I want to buy them, but I don't want you to have to bail out of the hobby that way. Please. I want you to have success. I want you to enjoy your fish. There's so much to be gotten from this. It's such a good hobby. It's there's so much to be learned and so much to do. And it's, it's not easy all the time. So I really want to help you. That's what I'm here for. So I appreciate, there goes the power.
<laughs> well, okay, well, there goes the lights. Uh, too much air conditioning, too much fish, too much studio lights. The studio lights are on, that one's not. <sighs> I didn't turn on the other ones, dang it. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I turned my power back on and now I see my mood lights came back on by default. Uh, of course, I forgot to turn them on for the whole video. Hey everybody, remember, keep it fishy and have fun. Thanks. <laughs>